When it comes to cosplay, lots of people think that you have to go all out and travel to get photo shoots or go to conventions, but that's not always the case. Hey guys, it's Isabella here, and welcome back to my channel! With the current world situation at hand, there's been lots of talk about cancelling some summer conventions, and that's really disheartening. But there are plenty of ways to have fun cosplaying at home. I talked to seven people who cosplay at home regularly, all with different experience. There's some tips and tricks for everyone social distancing that wants to continue cosplay, but might not necessarily know how. Like the last video I made, I will not be including all their answers for every question for every time's sake. But there will be a link which all their answers are in the description below. If you don't know this about me, I love cosplaying in public to get pictures, and I have multiple vlogs with those adventures. I even went to the point of cosplaying Miraculous Ladybug in France. But I also enjoy cosplaying at home. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need to attend cosplay conventions to be a cosplayer. Because cosplay is a combination of the words costume and play, and quote, is a performance art in which participants wear costumes and fashion accessories to represent a certain character. The first thing I asked was what everyone liked about cosplaying at home. There are a variety of reasons why people like cosplaying at home. Philip, at Cosplay Turtle, said, There isn't a time crunch like most cons or photo shoots have. Cat, at Candy Cat Cosplay, added, That you don't have to worry about paying for a photographer. Pat at Patty Patch said that it's nice because you have full image rights. Anya at the Anya Panda said, You don't have to worry about the weather being good, and you don't have to worry about traveling over to your photo shoot location. She also added that you can also take your time more since you aren't in a public space that others may want to use. Lots of people I interviewed like cosplaying at home for a comfort standpoint. Kenzie at Rose Siren Cost says simply that she likes being able to cosplay in the comfort of her own home. Lyra at Lyra Cosplay says she has all of her makeup supplies in a place to get ready comfortably. And Lauren at Lauren Dragnail likes how it's not awkward and she gets to know what she looks like in the pictures. Something that I personally like about cosplaying at home is that I have more freedom with editing. Where editing is not always everyone's priority, I feel like it can definitely accentuate your at home cosplay. Kenzie says that when you take your own photos, you have creative freedom to edit it however you'd like. For example, if the background is not the main focus, you can use editing to help accentuate the character. One example is when I cosplayed one of my all-time favorite Junji Ito characters, Tomi. Anya said that normally when she takes pictures at home, she uses a self-timer on her camera, so there will usually be a lot of technical issues with the photos that will need to be fixed in the post that she fixes with the editing. Kat highlights that you don't even need to use a super expensive editing software either because she uses PixArt to edit all of her photos, which is free. Some of the people that I interviewed don't edit their pictures, like Philip, but still see it as it could be helpful if someone doesn't have good light or a nice background. When it comes to cosplaying at home, everyone has a different way they like to do it. I asked everyone what some tips or tricks they had when it comes to cosplaying at home, and everyone had different advice to give. One consistent thing that was brought up was lighting. Philip suggested to invest in a ring light. Most ring lights have a tripod attached to it, so you can have a way to have nice lighting and a place to stand your phone up. Kat also tells us that you can find a ring light on Amazon for about $30. Another tip that was reoccurring was that it is nice to have a solid, plain background. If you don't have a solid background, Pat suggests uses, using large swatches of material to cover up and use as backdrops. Of course, it can also be nice to use what you already have at home to add to the character as well. Philip did a Howl's Moving Castle photo shoot in their backyard, which was one of their favorites, and Lyra took pictures as Pocahontas in front of a cherry blossom tree in her yard. But you don't need to have a fancy background or a good set of photos. One of Anya's favorite photos sh she has done was her black cat diva in front of a blank wall. Lauren just said that there are not many tricks, really just have fun with it. And I think that it's best to remember that this is for fun. Everyone likes different things, and when cosplaying at home, it should not be an extra stressor. So remember to take care of yourselves. When it comes down to it, you might find that you still like cosplay at conventions better, but you might find that you like cosplaying at home better. It was pretty even when I asked everyone what they like better. In favor of cons, Philip said that he prefers to cosplay with friends, so they normally go crazy at cons. Kat says that she also loves meeting fellow cosplayers at cons and doing groups and professional photo shoots. In favor of cosplay at home, Lauren says that she gets overwhelmed and anxious at cons. Lyra likes cosplaying at home because getting ready at home is way more comfortable than getting ready at a con. And Pat prefers cosplaying at home because conventions for the most part are generally not the terrain the character she cosplays would be in. 
Anya says that it depends on the cosplay, saying that the more uncomfortable or out there the cosplay is, the more she leans towards cosplaying at home, since traveling in public dressed like that can be nerve-wracking. However, she likes the range of backdrops that you can use at a convention, as there's a chance to shoot with a range of photographers and other cosplayers. Kenzie also finds the parts that she likes of both cosplaying at home and cosplaying at conventions, but she likes cosplaying at home better, because she can take out the cosplay whenever and she doesn't have to walk for hours. But there's something about showing off your new cosplay at a convention that just feels good to her. At the end of the day, it is your personal preference, and Kat says both are super fun in their own individual ways. As we conclude, I hope you have some fun cosplaying at home, and as summer con season is approaching, I hope everyone does stay safe. And if conventions do end up being cancelled, I will personally hold an online convention on Zoom, so you should look out for that. If you have any suggestions for other videos like this, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'd like to give a huge thank you to everyone who participated in the interview for this video. Please be sure to check them out. We have Anya, Kat, Kenzie, Lauren, Lyra, Pat, Philip. Thank you again. If you enjoyed this video, you can like it and subscribe for more videos like this. I love y'all. Stay safe. Bye.